I've been featuring rodent traps from around the world, and today for Mousetrap Monday, we're going to take a look at this live catch mousetrap from Russia. I purchased this on Amazon. It was sold under the brand name Zekershat. It cost just over $12 plus shipping. The ad looked pretty good, but when I received it in the mail, I was really disappointed with the quality. It was damaged in shipping. It came in a soft package, and the body's made out of thin sheet metal bent into a U. The lid is a piece of metal with holes in it, covered in yellow tape, and is attached with zip ties all over the place. The back here is a door that opens, again attached with zip ties. Down here is a magnet. You get these at the hardware store for kitchen cabinets. Doesn't seem to close very well. And the front door here is a trigger system, which is a one-way door. The mouse will come in, push it open, and when it goes past it will close. This is the same design we saw in the mice cube and other traps. I'm not sure if I got scammed by a Russian or if this is going to work. Let's go set it up with my pet mice, see if they'll go in there and get caught. Then we'll test it out with motion cameras in the barn, see if we can get some wild deer mice. Let's see if our black pet mouse will go in this trap. Surprised. He went in there, lifted up that trap door, and he's caught. So it did work. Let's let him go, put him back in his cage. I'm curious if this will work with wild mice. Let's go set up the motion cameras in the barn. After testing the Zeker Shat out on wild mice, I confirmed my suspicions. You can't really call this a mouse trap, it's more of a rodent feeding station. If you put bait in there, they'll go inside, eat all the food, lift the door up, and come right out. So poor design and it's poorly constructed with some of the most basic materials. I can't believe they sell this on Amazon. I'm going to have to change the name from Zeker Shat to Piece of Shat, but it's fun testing out all traps. I post between four and five videos a week on mousetrap reviews. Some of them are really good, and some of them are poor designs like this one. So stay tuned. I have a lot of mice to catch and a lot of different traps to test out.